From time to time, it's possible to get wildly high or low heart rate readings on your cycling computer. If it goes on for more than a couple of rides and you haven't keeled over from a massive coronary, then most likely the problem lies with your heart rate sensor. The good news is that there are several things you can do to get your heart rates back to normal, and luckily they're a lot less inconvenient than going for a heart transplant. Prevention, they say, is better than cure. And with this in mind, one of the best things to do is wash your sensor strap after every ride. You can do this quickly and easily underneath a tap when you get home, making sure that you detach the actual sensor first, which just pops off. Garmin also recommends sticking the strap in the washing machine after every five rides. This prevents excessive static buildup, which is one of the major causes of the strange readings. The first thing I would suggest is to ensure that your heart rate sensor and cycling computer are correctly paired. If necessary, go through the whole search and pair procedure again on your computer. If you have a Garmin Edge 510, I show you how to do this in another film. The next obvious thing to do is change the battery in the heart rate sensor. It's a quick and easy job to do, the batteries cost next to nothing, and I show you how to do it in a film I made earlier. Simples. But if after changing the batteries you still get weird heart rates, there are a couple of other things you can try. Because Lycra is a synthetic fabric, your cycling jersey itself can also generate its own static charge and cause interference. If you wear a light cotton undershirt, this can be reduced. Next, ensure that you're actually wearing the thing correctly. The electrodes should have good, direct contact with moist skin. If the skin is dry, the sensor will have difficulty picking up the little electrical signals from your heart. Normally, when you start sweating, this should be enough, but if needs be, you can always lick it. Form an orderly cue, ladies. If your chest isn't quite as round as mine, the electrodes may also have trouble making contact. If so, try wearing the sensor where it can, for instance on your side or on your back. The sensor communicates with the computer via the 2.4 GHz band, which is the same frequency as just about every other wireless device, including home broadband routers. So if your ride is through a built-up area, your strange readings could be due to electrical interference. If possible, try to ride in the country, where it's much more pleasant anyway. By now, you should be getting pretty normal heart rate readings. If not, there's an outside chance that the 220 beats per minute it's giving you is actually correct. If you're also feeling ill or not quite right, then it's possibly time to at least have a basic health check at the doctor's. But it might equally be something fairly innocent. I found that by concentrating on my cycling rather than other things, my heart rate came down immensely. So thank you for watching. If you'd like to get the most out of your cycling, please subscribe for my regular weekly upload where I'll be giving you all kinds of tips and tricks.